everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about the function of DNA. Now, lot has been talked about DNA, the structure, the arrangement of nucleotides. But how does this arrangement of nucleotide helps in the functioning of the DNA? This is what we'll see in this video. So the learning objectives will be to recognize and explain the biological importance of DNA in the body. Now DNA, we have been regularly saying that it is a blueprint of life. Now how? Let us see. So the DNA is a genetic material or the hereditary material. Now you look like your mother, your brother look like your father. You and your brother look alike a little bit. Your hair are long, your friend's hair is short. Why is all that? That is only because of the DNA presence inside the cell. It has the message for each and every function and each and every structure of your body. So let us see in the diagram. Now a human body is made up of cell. Now, deep inside the cell is hidden a nucleus which is called the control center of the cell. Now the reason for it being called the control center of the cell is the DNA. This DNA is inside the chromosome. Now if you stretch, a, stretch DNA along the length, the double helix structure, if you stretch it along the length, you will realize that in the trillions of the cell, the amount of DNA spans the entire solar system. Isn't it wondering that this small DNA which we see in a double helical structure is actually very very long. So we have to condense it, co this coiling should be condensed to accommodate it inside the cell. So the DNA is coiled inside a structure known as chromosomes. Now when it is stretched, we know that it is made up of nucleotides, right? The bases are what we decide that the trait, what a trait you will have, your eye color, gender, hair color, nails, claws, toes, skin, everything. Everything is decided by the bases in the DNA. So the bases are the code. Now these bases are arranged or recognize in the form of codes. So they, the three bases form one code and this code, this code further codes for an amino acid which ultimately codes for a protein. So we can say that DNA is like a secret agent which has all the information about our body inside it. Therefore DNA acts as a genetic material because it stores all the information regarding growth, development, differentiation and reproduction. And how is it present inside the cell? Inside the chromosome. Now gene, the gene term is a stretch of DNA. For example, this stretch of DNA will code for a particular type of function or protein. So this is known as a stretch of DNA is what we call gene. And three bases together is known as a code. That code codes for an amino acid. Now, DNA forms proteins. This also we have been regularly saying that the DNA is the one which forms a functional protein and proteins build all the cells of the body or rather I can say the entire body. So DNA controls protein synthesis. DNA controls synthesis of structural proteins as well as the enzymatic proteins. So how? Let us see in the diagram. This is a cell. Again, inside the cell nucleus is present, in the nucleus chromosomes are present and chromosomes are made up of DNA. Now this DNA is what forms a functional protein, has a message for the formation of a functional protein. Now very important thing, have you seen the eye color differs, some have brown eye color, some have blue eye color and some have the regular black eye color. Now this is what is called change in the DNA. And this change in the DNA leads to change in the protein and that, therefore there are changes amongst two human beings we can say. Now these changes are known as mutations. So any change in the DNA is called what? Mutation. These mutations if they occur in egg cell or a sperm cell then they are transferred from generation to generation. Now mutation may occur by various reasons. So it can occur either by external regions like UV radiations, exposure to X-ray radiations and heat etc. And but it can also occur naturally by the method of crossing over during the meiotic phenomena. Now DNA mutation may also cause some genetic disorders. What are those genetic disorders? Sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis. 
cancer the disease which has spread all over and we are scared that there is no cure for the disease this disease is because of the mutation in the dna also if the dna is altered now we know if the dna changes for example see by the uv photon the dna is damaged the sequence of the bases breaks and forms again and the sequence changes as a result of which the amino acid changes and then the functional protein changes so dna is altered then protein will be altered and ultimately this changes if they accumulate together it may lead to speciation or evolution so to summarize we can say that dna acts as a genetic material dna controls the synthesis of protein structural as well as enzymatic any change in the dna may cause mutation which may ultimately cause speciation or evolution thus we can say dna is the ultimate genetic basis of the life so this was all about function of dna let us now start in the next video about a very important nucleic acid the ribonucleic acid thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning